All right, let's uh, do flux here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I just got the uh, Cha Mill from Chameleon Antenna, and I just hooked it up to uh, my Chameleon Antenna on my Chevy Suburban, and I'm gonna give you a little rundown. Right now I'm getting that garbly, garbly, weird kind of RX that I often get when I'm right by my house, which has aluminum siding. Uh, Let's see what happens when we fold it up. Uh, FYI, I'm running a cha mill with a uh, chameleon antenna hybrid, stainless steel spring, flexed over, NVIS, steel, ground plane, uh, properly grounded to the frame and properly grounded. To the truck body right there. All right. Go ahead and jump up there real quick and unhook that. That's kind of hard to do with one hand. All right. So it's going to go up. So the chaw mill is 10 feet, and then I don't know. It's just like crazy tall up there. It's good for stationary comms. I don't think I want to drive with that. <laughs> it's just like I keep backing up and backing up and you still don't see the truck. <laughs> it's really, 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 really tall. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's just really, really tall. Let's see. The top of the uh, antenna is right there. So let's try to keep that in there. There it is, okay, so it's really, really, really crazy tall. There's no way in hell you would ever drive with like this. <laughs> it's just, it's way, 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 way up there. So, you know. Too much low end, too much whatever. You know, anytime you're there we everything, go. you know, you can you can certainly uh, muck the whole thing up a little bit, but I think I think uh, if you start off with all that you'll you'll have some fun with it. Let's, uh, we'll see you. Thanks for stopping by Let's friend. tune it, eh? Hey? Okay. So I'm in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm receiving Fort Worth, Texas really well. But I, uh, when I'm driving, I'll, I'll, uh, Let me give you the lowdown of what I'm running here. I got the chameleon antenna, multiband, vertical, grounded to the truck in several places. Comes down, goes around, goes across, goes over. Goes under. So it goes under here. Under here. Comes back up. And then goes under the passenger seat. Under the passenger seat. See the front view. I run the power straight off the battery. Everything's properly grounded. Canned and pre-programmed all that. Nice, quiet, soft. Where she just kind of singing along, and and then all of a sudden the big, you know, middle of the song, the big climax of the tune, and then she's just singing as hard and high as she can. And a lot of females do that. They they're wanting to show their ability. They're wanting to get that 
and the producers that are, you know, producing these. So, that's the setup. This is a chaw mill. Freaking way the hell up in the sky. That is nuts. <laughs> I never be able to roll like that. KD0GSF, break. <laughs> well, I, uh, my, uh, my favorite uh, singer was, I mean, he's sick. Going on 87. My yeah, I might not be able to break. I might not be able to break into this one. These guys are talking pretty hard in hell. Let's see what else we can come up with. Let's tune it. Sounds really good, and I'll let you two get back to your conversation. And uh... I haven't heard anything but good out of them so far. So uh, that three thousand is really doing you a good job. Let's see if we can break and, in. Uh, Eastern Pennsylvania. So, Rick, uh, I think anybody you know can uh, have a favorite uh, manufacturer, but uh, I'm quite uh, happy with the AC product line, and it's certainly something that I think warrants you uh, some further investigation if you're looking to upgrade. Uh, they have a, a, a lot of uh, different uh, AC. I have a, a 5 watt J2817, and I do a lot of QRP work on. And uh, the, one of the reasons I got the 3000 was because I was so happy with the receive on the little QRP uh, radio. So uh, it's definitely something to, to look into. And now with the Black Friday sales and uh, so forth, now not a bad time to get a good, uh, a good buy on one of them. But in any case, uh, that's the story here. I'll turn it back to you. So this is uh, Alpha Bravo 3 Gulf Bravo. Uh, with Kilowatt Charlie Zulu, Zulu Oxaloxer, and on the side, Whiskey Bravo 4, Papa Julius Fox. Thank you, Rick. Uh, yeah, very good, Mike. Uh, uh, or, or Bob there, I'm sorry. Uh, Mike there, he wanted to go off there. Uh, Alpha Bravo 3, Golf Bravo. This is Kilo Charlie Zero, Zulu Oscar Oscar. Uh, Zulu? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a nice one. The there, uh, uh, my bed there, I just uh, put a bid on eBay on uh, an 817-NB there. Uh, it went up to 510 there, and I 
would rather just buy a new radio uh, than uh, uh, buy a used one there. Over. KD0, GSF, break. Go ahead, break. This is KD0, GSF, mobile in St. Paul for a radio check, please. How, am I re how are you receiving me? Over. Uh, very good, perfect audio coming in to uh, uh, an S3 in uh, Colorado. They're a uh, very good audio. S3, over. Oh, thank you very much. You are transmitting from Colorado, is that correct? Over. Yeah, this is Kilo Delta Zero, Golf Sierra Foxtrot in St. Paul, Minnesota, with a uh, Chevy Suburban with a Yesu 857D and a Chameleon vertical antenna and a Chow Mill attached to the top of it. Okay, very good. What was the Yesu model again? Yesu 857 Delta. Are you still there? Over. What did I do? <laughs> uh. Are you still there? Over. Well, that was weird. I think I bumped it. I bumped something on my radio. And on my. Uh, this guy's got a lot of. This guy's got a lot of features that sometimes I bump and I mess up my channel. <laughs> Where was he at? 262? 262? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> I was getting to uh, I was getting to Colorado and receiving Pennsylvania just fine and. That's cool. That's cool for me, man. That's fine enough for me. So, there it is. Running good. Thanks, Chameleon.